Good morning. Welcome to beautiful Nazi land, California, where it's 75 degrees and it's very sunny and it's winter. Today, we're gonna go look at the trailer. A lot of you have been asking, T, let me see the inside of your trailer. Let me see the inside of your trailer. What's the setup? As you know, I just dropped 20 grand on the trailer, plus I dropped another probably 2,500 bucks on my employees to put it together and organize everything very nicely. This is gonna be the most organized trailer you've ever seen in your life. Promise you that. Let's go check it out. You remember this one? Very nice trailer. So uh, this is the semi-truck driver. Remember on the last video I said maybe we can drive his truck? It's right there. I've been watching a lot of instructional videos on how to put together a trailer. Because a landscaping trailer has to be done. You need shelves, you need boxes, you need all this stuff. And I think we figured it out, baby. Now, let's go check it out. Come on. Big reveal. Here we go. All right, come check it out. First, we have this awesome little thing right here. That's very nice. And then we have this. This is for, like if you have machines running over it, it doesn't go kadunk. Instead of kadunk, now you go boop. This was all my idea, because I know I wanted this right in the beginning. So I wanted a little shelf here, right? Put all the, put all the weapons. Oh! I'm actually not a violent person. I'm really not. We have our levels. Boom. Levels are in. Then we have big levels. We have these things right here. I don't know what these are called. Stakes. Metal stakes. We have metal stakes. See how it's very nice and organized? And then, right off the bat, to the right, we have weed block. One, two. And then, if you look inside, there's a fire extinguisher. Hello, fire extinguisher. It's not working. Oh, it's dead. It's fucking dead. <laughs> Good thing there's no fire. This thing's not working. But look. Here's another one. Always keep a fire extinguisher in the trailer. You don't know what can happen. I might walk into the job site and I need to be extinguished. Enough of the stupid jokes. Come on, check it out. We have a, a roll here that is for pavers. Why do you have a roll of cellophane for pavers? You have a pallet of pavers and you need to wrap it. That's what you use. Big level. We have sticks. Sticks for concrete. We have crowbar, big crowbar. We have this thing. Drill bit. Concrete drill bit. Pencils. Check it out. You guys need a pencil? Right here. Okay, we have uh, just random, random bolts and shit. We got hardware for fences which we don't even do fences but we have it anyway we got grinders small grinder big grinder we have this we have this okay this is a rebar cutter straight up rebar cutter very nice piece of equipment i don't know why this is here this is probably not working it's probably garbage so we obviously very nice organized little area for this stuff. Very used, commonly used, and you always know where it is. Then, I decided I want shelves on one side of the trailer. Now you'd be like, damn T, this is a lot of stuff. I know that. This is also a 20 foot trailer, and the shelves help out a lot. Check this out. We have string here. String for all the pavers. We have this fancy little tool. I found this on Amazon. You put it around the turn, and it like, Stencils everything. Okay, irrigation. We have uh, What is this called? Silicone. We got silicone. We got some WD-40 for your mom We got Cutters all kinds. Of, we got a lot of stuff. You know a lot of stuff and look at this a big level This one is a six-foot level. It did not fit vertically. Maybe it's an eight-foot level 
these shelves are very, very, very essential. They are essential. Listen, so these, these shelves make life a lot easier. A lot easier. Now check this out. Here we have the saw. This is the paver saw, another paver saw. I have two of them. No, I have three. One right there. One, two, three. I'm actually about to replace all of these. I'm gonna sell all these on Craigslist and then I'm gonna buy three brand new ones because I like to keep everything brand new. Especially these things. They're like 1200 bucks a piece. They're not that much. Plan that expensive. Oh, look at this. A lot of people don't know what this is. This is a plate that you put on your compactor so you can compact sand. Polymeric sand. Now check this out. These are <coughs> little packs. Pop it open. What's inside? Storage. Yay! Storage. Then we got these. So these were not built. These came with the trailer, obviously. I had to pay. Okay, as you can see, everything is very organized. Everything is where exactly it needs to be. And nothing falls out. Then we have a chainsaw right here. They were just using this chainsaw. This chainsaw is supposed to go somewhere. I don't know where. A vacuum. We got a compressor, pressure washer, a bunch of bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff for sprinklers. We have one compactor. We have one tire. Look at this. A weed whacker, which I never used the weed whacker. I don't even know why I have it. I will get rid of it soon. Maybe I should do a weed whacker giveaway. Huh? You want it? Can't have it. I'm so mean. Sometimes. Sometimes I should not be so mean. <laughs> Cameron's like, yes, you're very mean. <laughs> Boom! We have a, uh, a blower. The blower is very nice. And then we have an electric blower, another electric blower, extension cords, this stuff, gas tank, concrete tools, and then all the wiring. This is for the sprinklers. We have lighting, sprinkler wire, and then an extra gas can. And check it out, a first aid kit right here, but I mean, if you ever get hurt. Oh, safety glasses on deck. Something that I always yell at my employees about, hearing protection. They have to wear this. Do they wear this? Another fire extinguisher. And then we have time cards. This is where they log all their hours. So this is, a, this is something called an E-Track. An E-Track is a pretty cool system. You have hangers. I decided not to hang shovels. I know a lot of you were like, well, why aren't the shovels hanging up? Because I don't want shovels hanging around. All the shovels and everything is in a massive wheelbarrow. Everything's inside and it's always in the backyard. It never comes in the trailer, only when we move job sites. That's the only time. I don't want clutter here. The shovels create a lot of clutter. I know a lot of you, you're mowing lawns and stuff like that and you have shovels here. That's different. When we post up, we come to a job site, we stay at the job site for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, a month, two months. So all of the shovels are in the back. So if you ever want to come to one of my job sites and steal all the shovels, they're in the backyard. Go ahead. You're more than welcome to steal everything. We have tire claws, big hammers. They cut the they cut the handle for some reason because it's easier to whack a mold. Everything's pretty organized, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. And I want to show you my security. Come over here. Do we have a puck lock here? But I also have one of these. Another lock. And then that pretty much impossible to cut through. You need a plasma laser cutter type of deal. We have a tire here, ladder rack. As you can see, nothing is being used in the ladder rack. Dude, I gotta tell you something. Come over here. I did I almost messed up big time. Big time. Big time. I was driving the trailer because we were moving job sites. And I just, I want, honestly, I wanted a picture. I wanted a picture with the trailer. So I was like, I'm gonna take it. So I, I had this trailer on that side and I was driving it. And for some reason I was like, T, you should look up. I looked up this rack right there was this far from this tree. Look at this. I almost wrecked the brand new trailer, almost. That would have been bad. That would have been real bad. Meh. Now you'd be like, T, what are you gonna do with the old trailer? The tr new trailer is very nice, and I have to agree with you. The old one, I'm gonna fill it with tools. Everything I would want when I started my first year in landscaping. All kinds of stuff. This whole thing's gonna be decked out. Sick. You're gonna have a brand new paver cutter. 
what are you going to do? How are you going to give it away? It's going to be like Mr. Beast style. Everybody in Go King, they're going to come out and they're going to be inside the trailer. Last person to leave the trailer gets to keep the trailer. No sitting down, no pee breaks, no poo breaks, nothing. It's going to be very, very intense. Get in Go King if you want to get in on these videos. It's going to be absolutely bonkers. Lunatic. Cuckoo. And it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to meet a lot of people. You're going to learn a ton. So if you just want to get in Go King just to get free stuff, don't do it. Get in Go King because literally, I'm gonna change your life. I swear to you, I promise you. I will change your life. Your mindset will shift and you're gonna be like, damn, it's not as hard as I thought it was. Hit subscribe, hit like. Here's the Amazon gift card. Bye bye.